Hello, I am Devi Mandela and this is my new YouTube channel Baby Celebrity. Get to subscribe my YouTube channel how to manage your time efficiently or effectively. Basically, when we say time management, time management is planning your time to use it in effective and efficient way. The benefits of time management. The first one, you're going to do a lot of activity with a specific period of time. Maximize your support activity. Second, you're going to be better working quality will be there and less stress and more self-confidence and benefits of time management. How to manage your time efficiently? This is first, now who, how you are spending your time. Before doing anything else, first of all, you have to find out how you are using your time. And you're going to find out a lot of activities that are activities or habits that are blocking you from reaching your goal and your objectives. So you're going to remove these activities. So like a capital budget, you have to really go through it and find out what is really eating your time and what is destroying your potential. The second, stick with your daily schedule. When you say daily schedule, this daily schedule is an activity arranged with, with time. So, whenever you have these daily activities, you have to stick with them. When you prepare this daily activity, first of all, you have to be first of all you have to be realistic. When you say realistic, the duration you're gonna give for activity should be realistic. If you give a lot of time for an activity which is extra time, you are just on the wrong side. So. First of all, you have to be realistic. Besides that, you have to give your undivided attention. There are a lot of things that in this world are going to disturb you from working your time effectively or working with your time effectively. Basically, your phone is one of the things that are going to disturb you, your friends will disturb you, and other things, your computer, your everything is going to disturb you. So you have to stop and you have to block this thing until you break time or until you, you finish what you have been right. Third, prioritize. When you, say, when you say prioritize, we are just referring that you have to keep priority for some kind of activity which are urgent. First one is important and urgent activities. These kind of activities are an activities which have to be done urgently or fastly. Because these activities are some kind of activity which are maybe on their deadline or they are urgent or they are maybe emergency. Or the second types of activities are activities which are important but they are not on their deadline. So these activities should be postponed or they should be done later. And the second types of activities are activities that should be dedicated for another person. If there is any person that will work the activities better for you, just you have to delegate the work for another person and you're going to work your urgent and emergency activities. And the fourth one is an activity that are not important, they are uncritical and these activities should be deleted from your list of activities because they are blocking you from reaching your goals and your final destinations. Or batching similar tasks. When we say batching similar tasks, we are really saying grouping, categorizing activities into some groups. Basically, it is based on different criteria. It is maybe on the process, on the function, or another thing else. The fifth one is avoid multitasking. When we say multitasking, it is a bunch of activities or an activity more than two that is accumulated or being done in a specific or in a single period of time. Whenever we do such active, these types of activity, we will need a twist and rolling back from one activity to another activity and this will take a lot of energy and time from us. So it will decrease our efficiency. And in case it also risks the error source. So six, six keep things organized. When you say organized, it means arranging, grouping, your table and your everything according to some some criteria. Your desk should be clean and avoid or free of any junk which will disturb your work for a later period. So your desk should be clean. 
second if you are using computer you should have a computer or a files that have been arranged in a simple and quick way so that anyone that will access your computer can get the application or the files easily and quickly and the third one is whenever you use a calendar you have to mark with different color for different purpose basically if you have personal and professional thing it should be in different color if you have urgent and urgent, color, urgent things just use different colors for those things seven use time management tools basically there are a lot of application and software that are available for our iphone and our laptop so you ha we have to download this application and work with them they really helps us to manage our time effectively thank you for hearing me i am baby mandela i will meet you in the next video see you bye bye